What is up YouTube? Hope you're having the nicest of days today. You already know what it is with these videos. If you've been subscribed to my channel for any amount of time, you know that I bring out income reports every month and this month is no exception. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my January 2020, 2021 uh, it, uh, royalties from publishing on KDP. Now, I make these videos because a lot of you say um, that seeing income reports from publishing on KDP gives you motivation. So, if this video inspires just one person to start publishing, to take publishing further than they've already taken it now, then you know I'm super, super happy. So first things first guys, if you're new to my channel, then I want to give you the warmest of welcomes. My name is Ben and I like to bring out videos just like this one on my self-publishing journey and all the hints, tips and tricks that follow. So if this is going to be something that's interesting for you, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I bring out videos just like this one. And of course if you made it this far in this video and you haven't hit that like button yet, be sure to hit the like button. It motivates me and fires me up a lot when I see a lot of likes on my videos. It knows I. It tells me that I'm making a good impact to the world with the videos. So be sure to hit the like button if you haven't done so already. But yeah, for today's video, I'm going to be jumping into my computer screen. We're just going to go through the total royalties, the costs associated with the business, kind of where my sales were, you know, the type of books I've been selling. And we're just going to come to a final value of how much profit after all the costs are taken into account. So without further ado, let's jump into that computer screen. So people, my January 2021 royalties from publishing on Amazon KDP. But first, if you're looking to publish your first book on Amazon KDP or you're already publishing but you're not making any sales, then be sure to check out this video. Uh, the link for it should be in the top right hand side of this video if you're on desktop. It says free two hour tutorial on how to publish your first low content book onto Amazon. It goes through everything from good niche research, good keyword research to great book designs. So if you're having troubles with anything or you're just looking to start, this is the perfect video for you. So go ahead and check that out. And of course, if you're an established publisher, but you're looking for ways to accelerate your earnings, then here's the perfect course for you, the accelerator, the royalty accelerator course. It's just got extensive actionable information inside. Um, it's a really great community as well. There's a lot of student success in here, so I couldn't recommend this enough, especially if you see my other videos, you know I'm a big advocate for it. So if this is something that's gonna be interesting to you to accelerate your publishing business, go ahead and click in the link in the description below. Should be a cool 20% off as well for a limited amount of time. So go ahead and check that. But otherwise guys, let's get down to it. So the next slide here will show you my earnings. Um, so, in January 2021, we did a total of $6,870.32. Um, so I took a screenshot this time um, because it's just a bit easier rather than blurring out parts of where my book titles are. Um, but as you can see, it was fairly steady. Um, that works out roughly to around $220, $230 a day on average. So that's really, really good. Um, I'll get on to the specifics in a second, but first we're just going to check book reports because it's going to show you a slightly different figure, but I want to cover all the bases. This is slightly lower, um, so it's saying last month was at $6,500 basically for me. Um, the difference is down to the Forex exchange rates and the different interpretations of the dollar, pound, euro, because I sell in all those marketplaces. So it's going to be a little bit different in that sense. You can see on this slide as well that I have 1,836 books live at the moment. I really didn't publish that much in January and that's why that number looks stagnant. Um, but as we scroll down here, we can see if we go to earnings by marketplace, um, we can see here that 2.8K of it came from Amazon.co.uk, 2.1K came from Amazon.com. So Amazon.co.uk was the best marketplace for me. Look at that, 43% of my sales came from the UK, which um, used to be the US. We used to hold the title for a very long time as the best marketplace for me, but now the tides have switched again and it's UK that's kill it, crushing it. 13% um, in Germany, so that's actually on the up. So that's a really good marketplace to be selling in as well. And Canada as well at a respectable 10%. So those are my four main marketplaces really. Uh, the UK, the USA, Canada and Germany. So now if we go back onto the slides, um, 
basically 80% of my sales came from low content so um, obviously I talk about low content in my videos on YouTube not all of the books I publish are low content but most of my sales do come from low content books so low content books are things like kids books coloring books activity books puzzles notebooks planners diaries and log books uh, and stuff like that but then the other 20% comes from high content book sales so things like trivia books quiz books joke books and you know general non-fiction that I have on the marketplace so roughly around five thousand dollars I haven't calculated this accurately but around five thousand dollars about six thousand eight hundred would be from low content and then the other one thousand eight hundred or so from high content so comparisons basically um from my december 2020 which was my best month ever it's around minus 50 percent so we did half the amount of sales that we did uh, last month um but that's to be expected because december 2020 is just a great uh, month for anyone doing e-commerce really like the sales will always pick up in december 2020 just because of christmas and everyone's buying presents um so it's kind of really hard to keep up with the December earnings. But having said that, I've seen a lot of results where people have actually done better this January than last December. Um, the reason being is that there's a, a new lockdown in place in a lot of countries. So people are again buying books um, to keep them you know, uh, busy during the lockdown and things like that. So I think that's the major reason why people have actually seen better January than December results. Obviously as well, not undermining their hard work. I'm sure they've worked very hard as well to you know, uh, increase their sales from December to January. So if this applies to you if you'd had a best month ever in January then congratulations to you but for me it was down around 50% which I'm still happy with like I said um, and of course that's 400% more than my previous January in 2020 so in that month I did $1,500 in fact we can see it on the chart here on book report so if we just scroll back up and we just do all time here let that load for a second so yeah, as you can see, we've got 66,000 all time now. Um, if we go to uh, January 2020, we can see that's hovering at just under 1,600. And yet for January 2021, 6,500, uh, a little bit more than what it said before. So yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, around the four times mark, 400% increase. So again, that's superb. It's my third best month, uh, just from just behind November and December 2020. Again, that's down to quarter four. Um, but yeah, all in all, really, really good. And um, February is also going really well, nearly $700 in February already. And it's the third at the time of this recording. So that's all right. Um, so the notes, I worked less this month. I averaged a few hours a day um, compared to, you know, the very long days that I was having from October to December to make the most of the, you know, the quarter four earnings. Um, basically, I took some time to, you know, do some other things that weren't publishing related. So I've been reading Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. Um, it's the creator of the Nike brand. Um, I published actually only one book in January. Um, I've been working on low, longer low content projects with my VAs who are virtual assistants and um, they're also freelancers as well. So uh, the terms are like interchangeable, but when you see VA freelancer, they're the same thing basically. So I work, I've been working with longer low co content projects um, around my best two niches. So I'm going to start trying to build a brand around them. If you see my December 2020 earnings, I said that I'm going to try and build a brand around my best niches because um, that just seems natural for the growth of the online business that we are doing in publishing um, so as with any business that you do there's going to be some costs incurred and the major cost for most KDP low content publishers is the advertising costs and that's the same for me as well so these are my advertising screens this is how much I paid for advertisements in the USA in January um, this is a very unusual graph I actually turned off the ads sometime on the 20th um, because I ran out of cash to pay for them um, but as you can see here at the start interestingly enough um, the spend was extremely high and there was one day where the ACOS tipped above 70% the average is 19% so that's still a profitable figure but it tipped above 70% here at the start so I kind of blundered at the start of the year I turned all my ads um, back on after December um, and the reason that I blundered is basically I raised the bids for all my ads in quarter four so November December um, so I I was willing to pay more for my product to be shown against keywords against products um, but then I forgot to turn these bids back down as the Christmas sales 
finished. Um, so what I was doing, I was spending a load because I was the highest bidder all of a sudden for tons of keywords. Um, but it really wasn't converting into an ROI because it wasn't quarter four anymore. It wasn't Christmas sales. So people were spending less. So I ended up being unprofitable at the start of the advertising. I was spending $50 a day on advertising at one point, but then I turned it down. I turned it down until I turned them off completely. Um, if we have a look in Canada, it's a little bit of a different story. Again, I just turned on the ads, I blundered a little bit and therefore my ACOS is higher than expected. Um, it's still profitable, don't get me wrong, 17% ACOS in Canada is fine, but last month I got 10%. So I was a little bit disappointed to see such a high figure compared to December. And the same with the UK. Um, I turned it back on here, as you can see in January the 1st, and then I realized like I spent over 30 pounds without a single sale on January the 1st. And I realized I was being an idiot. Turned off the ads on the 2nd of January there, as you can see. So not spent anything January 3rd. And then I tweaked all my ads so that they were appropriate for January rather than December. And as you can see, we started picking up some spend and some sales. Um, again, the spend here was extremely high, so I had to turn them down. I didn't switch them all completely off, but we turned down the spend a lot and we've got a decent a cost of 14 percent again a little bit higher than it was in december uh, so a bit disappointing to see but they're all still profitable so that's the main takeaway from that um so basically what we're going to do now is we're just going to plug in all the figures of ad spend into this excel chart so i'm going to show you a breakdown of how this looks like in terms of net profit after all the advertising costs and all the other expenses are taken into account so I've already partly filled it out. Um, the way this works is that there's revenue here. So that, that's the figure that you saw right at the start, $6,870. So that's the amount of royalty that I got from KDP. This is my advertising expenses. So I've already filled it in for you. Um, the total amount is 1,434. So we just plugged the figures in. I put the latest Forex rates for uh, the, um, the US dollar to different currencies just to keep everything in US dollars and we've added VAT so without VAT my total ad spend was $1,195 but obviously Amazon charged 20% on top so that came to a total of $1,434 now my other expenditures come down to other things that help me create the books so uh, Adobe, for example, um, with Photoshop and Illustrator and things like that costing me $38.43 a month Canva is another graphic design um, where I do all my interior and book cover creations. That's 21 a month. Creative Fabrica at 12 a month, which has got graphic resources. Helium 10 helps with niche research and keyword research. And I'm paying 99 a month for that one. And that's dollars. Book reports shows me um, my earnings from KDP. It's just kind of an enriched uh, earnings report. So I'm paying 19 a month. For that and through my freelancers which were the VAs I'm paying $540 there so that comes to a total of $729.43 so we've got these two expenses we've got the revenue here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this sum in so the net profit in US dollars will be the revenue minus this expense minus this expense so as you can see here my net profit in the USA, $4,700, which comes to £3,400, which is where I'm from, $6,000 Canadian dollars, and €3,900. So that's pretty much my earnings summed up. That's my net profit for the month from publishing on KDP. But yeah, um, it was all in all a good month. I'm super happy with it. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it's been insightful or inspirational um, for you. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care.